Roblox Funky Fire just came out with another new update. This time we got two updates here, two mods actually. Bob's Onslaught and also versus Shaggy. We're gonna cover everything in the update video, so make sure you smack the like and let's get started. So what's new as of July 11th? They've added in Bob's Onslaught versus Shaggy. They've added in the Renji Parasite remix, the Stardust Nerves remix. They've added in the Ron and the Shaggy animation. They've reworked their crewmate animation, added shop access to the top bar, accuracy indicator color toggles, and also error color replication. So now you can see your opponent's error colors too. So yeah, let's go check it all out. First things first, we gotta check out how much the new animations are going to cost us. Let's see. Yeah, let's start off with the Ron animation. The Ron animation is going to cost us 500 points. Maybe by Eternal Rainbows. We'll showcase that one first. So what the run animation is gonna look like on idle. You're like facing towards the camera here. Left, you're falling down to the left. Down, up, and right. So yeah, you're falling left or right on the ground, man. It's kind of funny, man. Here's some gameplay. No, that's really funny. At first, I thought it was like you're slipping on a banana peel, but after playing the new Bob Slot update, like, we all know it was the wrong animation. So that was really great animation work right there. And then the next animation is going to be the Shaggy animation, but my man Faber, 1,050 points. This is going to be really expensive, so here we go. So here we go, boys. This is what Shaggy looks like on idle. Oh, man. Left, down, up, and right. Color coding to the magic of the inputs. My gosh, dude, super sus. Dude, I'm telling you guys, Fiber just outdoes his animations every update. Like, this is crazy, man. Once again, in the comment section, make sure you thank Fiber for his amazing work, guys. And then, of course, I did fix the crewmate animation as well. This is gonna be an idle left, down, up, and right. Let's see what they change. Oh, it doesn't change color anymore? Oh, no, actually, it doesn't jump out. It doesn't jump into the air duct like as often as it did before, which is really cool now. I think it only goes into the air duct every like couple of seconds. I would say maybe every 15 seconds or something like that. That's what it looks like it's doing, yeah. Every like 15 or 20 seconds, it jumps into the air duct every time you press down now. So that's actually really good. I like that. That's really great. So yeah, some minor tweaks. I did add in the icon. I did point this out on the League video a couple of videos ago. So yeah, instead of just walking over to the shop, you just click that icon right there. And well, you can open the shop wherever you are. Save some time walking here and there. There's now an accuracy indicator setting in the settings tab as well. You can go to gameplay, go all the way down to colored hit accuracy indicator. So if you don't want it having like rainbowed for six, if you want to have like the original six, then have it off and then you'll go back to the original just white text. Arrow color replication, you can see your opponent's colors. That's pretty much self-explanatory. You're going in the match, you can see your opponent's color arrows as well. That's going to be really cool, especially on public servers too. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for features. Let's go to some public servers. We'll showcase some of the songs here. All right, here we go, boys. So blast. Wow. I can't believe they added Shaggy in, man. Like, I'm honestly lost for words here, bro. I honestly didn't think they were gonna add in Shaggy. Especially with the sum of the songs being like six inputs and something like that. Like, some of the songs being nine inputs, man. Like, it's pretty insane right that, man. But hey, I'm kinda glad that they finally were able to uh, add in versus Shaggy, man. I'm honestly very surprised, though, but here we go. Pretty, so far, so good, honestly, dude. So far, so good, not gonna lie. Here you go, X-Bot. <laughs> Yo, I want to see what Kaioken's going to be like, though. Because Kaioken, it's like, uh, I think Kaioken's pretty much like, it's either six inputs or nine inputs. I'm not sure exactly what, which one it is which, but it's definitely going to be like a six input song. So I wonder if they recharted it to four inputs or if they actually kept it as a six input song. Like, that's going to be really interesting to find out. I'm just really glad that they were able to fix the Among Us too, man. Like the Kurume animation. It looks a lot better than what it did before because I didn't like it how it was before because the crewmate kept leaving the action like every two seconds, man. But now finally, he's able to stay in action for a much longer period of time.
There you go, man. That was a good game right there. I like Blast. The Blast is good. We gotta try out like Kaioken or something. That's gonna be insane. All right, we go. So Kaioken is originally, I think, a six input song. So it looks like they did uh input it to four charts. It's gonna be interesting here. Oh, jeez, man. Here we go. Let's see what they did here. We gotta do like a little bit of a comparison video at some point. So I definitely want to see what the charts are gonna be like comparing it to the actual mod. You know what I mean? Because having it as a four no a four input conversion definitely has to be a lot more different than the actual mod. You know what I mean? It's definitely gonna be a little bit different. But so far it is definitely a little bit different, man. It doesn't feel as spammy too, which I'm really happy about. That was my main issue when I thought they were gonna be adding in versus Shaggy. Like I thought that they were gonna be able to like add in all the notes and do a hundred percent conversion. And I was kind of scared that that would actually add in too many notes in such a short period of time to the point where it might spam out and be overly charted. But this is actually really balanced so far, dude. This is great. Here you go, Aether. If you guys don't know what Aether is, we, had, we actually had her on the interview a couple of videos ago. She's one of the developers for the Versus Monica mod. So, yeah, that's awesome that we're going like up against her as well. We got a pretty good combo too so far, bro. That's crazy, man. I love the song. It's great. Even as a four input song, it's still fun to play. It's just as fun to play just like the six input version, you know? How you go, man? Look at that. That was a great, that was a good song right there, dude. Such a long note right there, but that was a great song nonetheless. Still good, even as a four input song. We'll see what Onslaught's gonna be like here, boys. We're gonna compare it to like, cause we just played the actual mod like on our last video. We're gonna see if it's gonna be just as hard. I don't think it's gonna be just as hard, but like the actual mod, like Onslaught literally oh, took me. Certified. Onslaught literally took me like 25 times to beat it, man. Like it was one of the hardest experience ever. Especially for a Friday Night Funkin' mod, like, oh my gosh, it was crazy, man. Let's see if this, if this version's gonna be just as hard, though. I don't think it's gonna be as hard, though, because I don't think it's gonna have those gray notes or the black notes as well, which is really great. But imagine if they did, though, like, it made you lose points. That would be crazy. I would not like to see that happen, man. Like, that would be insane. A lot more easier. I would definitely say that. A lot more easier. Especially since you don't have, like, any pop-ups, like, popping up. <laughs> they still have the fart sound, so that's really funny. I love those fart sounds, bro. The fart sounds are still funny. Here you go, Fiber. Guys, make sure you say thanks to Fiber in the comment section down below. Like, he did such an amazing job on the Shaggy animation. Like, I bet all of you guys are happy about this work, man. Like, make sure you thank him in the comment section down below. Oh, man. I was not ready for that sound effect right there. Classic. Classic. Hey! There you go. That, that was Onslaught right there. A lot more easier than the mod, honestly. But yeah, it was fun. The only song that they didn't add in was the secret song. But the secret song was like literally 15 minutes long. Like it was such a long song. So I kind of doubt that they're going to add the secret song in. But let's try out a little bit of Trouble as well. Trouble was the, actually the song that they leaked in their leak video, which is really cool. And I was kind of right. It was the second song from the mod, which is really interesting. I didn't honestly think I was right when it came to that, but yeah, I was kind of right when they came to that. That's pretty cool, man. And yeah, you can see Pizza's arrow colors as well. Now you guys can see your opponent's arrow colors, which is really great, you know? That way you can actually, you know, you get rewarded for changing your arrow colors. You know, it's awesome, man. So make sure you guys check out some arrow color codes on my video. I did make a video about, you know, custom arrow colors just like from other mods. So make sure you check that video out if you want to change up your arrow colors a little bit here. But yeah, this song is great to play, dude. Just like from the mod itself, man. It's really great playing. Like, it's, all, it's just as good as the mod, honestly, bro. It's just as good as the mod. Because we literally just played the mod, like I said, last video, which is really fun. But like, I was so surprised when I saw Bob in like half demon and like half normal mode. Like that was insane, dude. That was literally crazy. There you go. That last spammy part as well as in the song too. Really, really cool. All right, here we go, boys. Parasite remix by Orenji. Now, Orenji always makes the like, great remixes, man. Like, he's done such an amazing job on all of his remixes so far. This one's probably gonna be a really great one as well. Like, this is gonna be pretty insane, man. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Hey, Cole. My gosh, dude, that sounds great. Bro, that's actually crazy. And I like how he used, like, middle of the song, too. Like, later part in the song, he used that for the remix. He didn't even use the beginning of Parasite. He used, like, 
a little bit towards the end right there, which is really, you know, I wasn't expecting that at all, honestly. There you go. We're going up against Mega Sus as well, guys. Mega Sus using 0.002% of his power, man. How about that, man? That's why I love this Shaggy animation, because he can definitely make up for marks just like that. Mega Sus using 0.002% of his power, like seriously. Hey, dude. It's actually fun charting too, man. It's not overly charted. Like, most of the songs are never, like, overly charted like that, dude. Like, this is great, man. The drags are perfectly placed, too, man. I love it. He did an amazing job with the remix and also the charter as well. Fanny, they did an amazing job all together. Here we go, man. The ending. I think we got this W, though. If I don't mess up pretty badly. Yeah, here we go, man. We beat Omega Sus in this Shaggy form, boys. How about that? Yeah, really great song by Renji, man. I love his remixes. But that's gonna do it for this update video, guys. I'll let you guys try out the rest of the songs. But yeah, it's looking like all of the Shaggy songs are gonna be four inputs only. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more update videos. I do cover every single update on Funky Friday. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, everybody.